I remember being at um, like Marco's and, you know, right between where we live. And uh, I definitely felt like people were much friendlier than normal. I think everyone had just been inside for so long. And like, I would be sitting at a table and I can't tell you the amount of times like people would be like, hey, how's it? Do you, you want to come sit here and talk? And like, yeah. sure. Or like, hi, I have drugs. Do you want some? I'm like, okay. <laughs> like, in in I mean, in a way that was like, oh my god, I lean, I need to learn how to say no, you know. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but it was nice. I mean, just in terms of like, it really, I felt like, um, like like a meat tenderizer, like tendered some of the spirits of of some of the New Yorkers, you know. Yeah, uh, and you know, I don't know the stereotype of New Yorkers in um. Uh, Europe, um, one of the stereotypes about New Yorkers in America is that we're not friendly. Um, and I think that's bullshit. We just have things to do, right? And like, if you're coming to like Times Square and I have a job and you're like, oh, you're walking too fast while I'm like going to, to the M&M store. And I'm like, I'm trying to feed my family. Like you're the asshole. That's my opinion on it. But anyway, long story short, New Yorkers are also have a reputation of being very kind and like very loyal. And very like, like kind of like, well, like, you know, helps a, a baby with a stroller and then just like walk away, you know? And like, really when we had nothing to do, the city that never slept took a nap. Right. And right. like, you really see the spirit and kindness of New Yorkers and the stereotype that I know, which is we're just very kind yet busy people. Get up, wipe yourself, I'm looking shady.